Welcome back Galaxians to your channel. Today we'll start an exciting journey deep into the microscopic world of cells to explore the fascinating ribosomes, the essential protein factories of all living organisms. Let's delve into the structure and function of these remarkable cellular components. Structure of Ribosomes Ribosomes are small intricate structures found in all living cells, from bacteria to humans. They are composed of two main components, the small subunit and the large subunit, each playing a crucial role in the protein synthesis process. Small subunit The smaller subunit of the ribosome acts as a decoding unit. It is responsible for reading the genetic code present in the mRNA strand during translation. This genetic code is composed of nucleotide triplets called codons, each coding for a specific amino acid. The small subunit ensures the correct sequence of amino acids is brought together to form a functional protein. Large subunit The larger subunit is the main catalytic unit of the ribosome. It aids in the assembly of amino acids into a polypeptide chain during protein synthesis. The large subunit also has a peptidyl transferase center, which facilitates the formation of peptide bonds between the adjacent amino acids, crucial for protein elongation. Before talking about function of ribosomes in the cell, I should mention that only 23% of our viewers subscribe. So, if this video helped you learn more about ribosomes, support us by hitting the subscribe button. Let's get back to the video. Function of ribosomes Now that we understand the structure of ribosomes, let's uncover their vital function in the cell, protein synthesis. Initiation The process of protein synthesis begins when the small ribosomal subunit attaches to the mRNA strand at a specific sequence known as the start codon. This initiation complex is facilitated by various initiation factors. Once the start codon is recognized, the large subunit joins the small subunit to form a fully functional ribosome ready to synthesize proteins. Elongation During elongation phase, the ribosome reads the mRNA codon sequentially, attracting transfer RNA molecules with matching anticodons. Each tRNA molecule carries a specific amino acid that corresponds to the codon being read. The ribosome's peptidyl transferase center catalyzes the formation of peptide bonds between the adjacent amino acids, gradually building the protein chain. Termination As the ribosome reaches the stop codon on the mRNA, the protein synthesis process concludes. Release factors promote the detachment of the newly synthesized protein from the ribosome, and the ribosomal subunits dissociate, ready to engage in the next round of protein synthesis. Ribosomes are truly the workhorses of the cell, responsible for translating the genetic code into functional proteins that carry out various vital cellular functions. Their intricate structure and precisely orchestrated function underscore the marvels of cellular biology and the complexity of life. We hope this video has shed some light on the ribosome's significance and sparked your interest in the incredible world of cells. Thanks for watching and don't forget to subscribe.